Hey everyone, it's Representative Jason Probst. And uh, you know, yesterday I had a pretty busy day and uh, when I got home I was pretty tired, but I decided that I should watch the gubernatorial debate between Governor Kelly and Attorney General Derek Schmidt. And uh, I have to tell you, there's, uh, there's something that I absolutely 100% agree with Derek Schmidt on. And that is that fentanyl is one of the biggest issues facing our state it's one of the most pressing issues on our state, and it's something that we need to deal with. But here's where we absolutely go our separate ways, and I'm frankly kind of torqued about this. He made it, just like Roger Marshall has, an issue about the southern border. They talk about fentanyl coming in from the border as if that is where fentanyl has always come from, and as if uh, somehow Kansas has a solution to this. The truth is, is that the border and any issues with the border has been an issue for more than a generation. And it's not a Kansas issue. There's zero that Kansas can do to secure the border. It is a dog whistle. It's something that gets people all wound up and people that don't have anything to run on can run on that and scare people, just like some of these other things they do. The truth is this, fentanyl is a serious issue. We talked about it last year. We had broad support, bipartisan support in the House last year to decriminalize fentanyl testing strips. It passed out of the House with no issue whatsoever. It went over to the Senate. It sat in Kelly Warren's committee for a year before anything was done on it. Did Derek Schmidt say anything then? Not one word. It went, it, it, she didn't have a hearing on it. Finally, during last year's session, she agreed to have a hearing on it only because it was part of a bigger bill that uh, people needed to get done in the state. Uh, she and I had a terrible conversation about substance misuse and people who struggle with addiction. And I walked away from that feeling like she might be one of the most cold hearted people I've ever met in my life. But again, that was a very visible issue. It was a issue, issue that had a lot of support. And I didn't hear a single word from Derek Schmidt. Now, as the leader of Kansas Republicans, as the guy who's taken the top ticket for the Republican Party, he could have had some influence. He could have stopped the blockade in the Kansas Senate. He could have encouraged the woman who wanted his job as attorney general to get on board and get this legislation through. Not a word, not one peep. What has probably happened is that somebody has figured out that this is an actual issue, that people in our communities have been talking about this, people have been dying in our communities, people have been ravaged by fentanyl, and children are dying, teenagers are dying, everybody from every economic, social strata possible is affected by this, families are suffering, it's hurting our communities, we know that there are things that we can do in terms of education, uh, in terms of getting resources to people. And one of the best ways we can do that is by making fentanyl testing strips not illegal. When we do that, we'll start to see some resources flow into our communities that can really do some good to get some resources to people and to educate people about the dangers of fentanyl and how it's present in just about everything that's out there on the street. But there was no conversation from Derek Schmidt's office about that, no support. And now all of a sudden, in the middle of an election, we want to use that issue and we want to use the people who have been affected by it to, to, to get votes and not even get votes on the legitimate part of the issue, to make it an issue about something that Kansas can't do anything about. We can't do anything about the southern border unless we're talking about stopping people from com coming from Oklahoma, which probably also isn't a bad idea. But that's not what we do in Kansas. We have policy we can actually do things about. Chief among them is making it that we can get fentanyl testing strips in the hands of people so they don't die, so they can live long enough to get into recovery and get back to living healthy and productive lives. And that should be what we want for people. That's not what's been happening. What's happening now is it's part of a campaign. And I was really aggravated to see that. And it just drives me a little bit bonkers when I see somebody like Derek Schmidt, who could have had a voice in this, who could have got some real policy done, sit on the sidelines until it works for him, and then he misuses the issue just to capture votes. I think we need to start holding people responsible for this and stop allowing this to happen.